Hi. Now, in this last part, we're asked to find the perimeter ZWYZ of this shaded region. So we're trying to find the distance then all the way around the shape. So if this is something you'd like to have a go at, just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Well, to work out the perimeter, is going to be fairly straightforward. We've got nine centimeters here, and WY is going to be a further two centimeters because we know the radius XW is four. So we've got two centimeters there. All that we really need to do is get this arc length round here. And to get arc length, you should be familiar with this idea when you're working in radians that if you've got a sector here and the arc length is L then it's a fraction of the circumference of the circle. That fraction is the angle over 2 pi radians, a full turn, OK? And you can see that with this formula, the 2 pi cancels out with the 2 pi there, and you just get theta r. But this only works if you're in radians. If it's degrees, remember it's theta over 360 degrees of the circumference of the circle 2 pi r. OK, so let us now just move on then. Let's get that arc length. So we've got the arc length is going to equal the angle. And the angle is going to be this angle round here. Remember, a full turn is 2 pi radians, so the angle that we want is 2 pi minus the 2.2195 and so on radians that we worked out alpha to be in an earlier part of the question. It's this angle that we compare to a full turn all the way around, which is 2 pi radians, and it's this fraction of the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r. r being the radius, which is from x to w, or from x to z, which is 4 centimetres. So we need to just multiply that by 4. Work this out. Remember, you don't have to type in the 2 pi into your calculator. Work this out, and you should find that you get 16.2547 and so on, OK, centimetres. So therefore, when it comes to working out the perimeter of the shape, OK, perimeter, what we have got is that it equals the arc length, 16.2547, and so on, plus the distance z to y, which is 9, plus the distance wy, which is going to be just 2 centimetres, OK? Add this up and you end up with 27.2547 and so on. And if we round this, say, to three significant figures, it's going to be 27.3 centimetres given to three significant figures, 3SF for short. OK, now if you want more tutorials on arc length or, in fact, on radians or areas of sectors, do go on my website, examsolutions.net. I've got tutorials on that.